try right there see if that works up here on the mountain again today i've been wanting to do this for a while this has been on my mind um so hang in there with me for a second i get me some stuff out i actually brought a little pack up here today with me while i was building trail and <laughs> yeah so this still goes out to pastors and not just pastors, but lay people. Um, do you know what this is? <laughs> you, you know, everybody says, yeah, oh yeah, that's the Bible. But do you know what it is? So this is a little, little instruction. Um, you know, the first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, you can, you can, you can open it up in your own, in your own book. That's that right there, right? You know what that is. Now, if you're perfectionist, don't 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 nail me if I don't say this right. But this Torah, Torah. I'm not sure you pronounce the R. But anyway, that's the law. The the Pentateuch, the law of Moses. That's what that is. The first five books. That's what that is. And then everybody knows over here. You know, when we get into the New Testament, we've got what they call the Gospels and the Epistles or the Letters. But, yeah, have you ever asked yourself, well, what's all this? What is it? If you take the law, Torah, Torah, <laughs> I don't think you pronounce the R, and then all of this, what is it? It's called the Tanakh. Tanakh. And... Tanah is an acrostic. The, uh, the, the T in Tanah is for the Torah or the law. And the N is for the Nephim, Nephim and the Kayyubim. So maybe, maybe this will help. I'll see. Hopefully this will work. So that's what that is. Um, or the law of the prophets and the writings. Mm -hmm. You, if you've ever, if you're a student of the Bible or if you've sat in church long enough, you'll, you will know the one passage when Jesus said, this is what was written of me in the law and the prophets. So that's what he was talking about. Uh, everything that was written about him in the law and the prophets and the writings the writings include Psalms, Proverbs, Job, Song of Solomon. One of the really cool things, I'm going to keep this short. If you, if you lay that out the way the Hebrew Bible is, it's like it ends with, uh, with a scripture that says, No prophet ever arose in Israel like Moses. And then when you, but it says, but here are, here are some other prophets. And, and it doesn't list them as uh, greater or lesser prophets. Uh, but the former and the latter prophets. Um, so it's like Joshua, Judges, Samuel, Kings, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and then the 12, instead of calling them major and minor prophets, it's the 12. And then the writings, Psalms, Proverbs, obviously those are writings, Song of Solomon, Lamentations. Yeah, and then when you, at the end of Malachi, it says, uh, the day will come when you will discern between good and evil. And, and, and then you jump into Psalms or the writings. How happy is the one who follows the Lord? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so get to know what you're reading. Try to, try to understand it. Be a disciple. Be a learner. Yeah, this is from the mountain today. <laughs>